we're going to talk about a date function in Excel today. And the function is just called date value. So here's what we have. We have some dates that are text. Okay, and this can happen from a number of different reasons. It could be pulling it in from another program. Someone could have entered it in a funny way. It could be any number of reasons. So what I want is I want this, instead of being text, I would like it to be a date. Now here's how I can tell it's text. If I go in on the home tab, switch it to a date format, and you'll notice I'm picking different date formats, it's not changing. These are just text, okay? And I want it to be a date, and there's a variety of reasons to want it to be a date. One would be calculations, another would be formatting. Um, so there's, there's, there's lots of positives from getting this to be a date. Now without doing this manually, Here's what we would do. We would use a function called date value. So it looks like this. It's equals date value, open bracket. I'm going to ask it for the cell that has the uh, text date in it. And then close the bracket. So this is actually a really straightforward function, not a lot of arguments. So it's equals date value, open bracket, cell reference, close bracket. As soon as I do that, I get a number. And if I fill it down, I get different numbers for the different dates. So you're getting a number because, remember from our other videos, any date in Excel is just a number of days, uh, essentially, uh, since the year 1900. Now, in this particular case, it's come up with these different values. And here's what we can do. I can now highlight those values, set it to a date, whatever date we want. Let's just go to short date for now. And there you have it. We have the date, which formerly was text. Now as an actual date, I can do calculations with it. I can change the date format. We can do all of those things. And it's all through using a function called date value.